hi guys, today we are making, you guessed it, pasta salad. So, step one. Okay, as you can see, these are fall noodles. They have very pretty um, autumn leaves and pumpkins. Um, but they're colorful and that's really all you want when you're making a yummy, summery pasta salad. Am I right, ladies? Okay, so you're just gonna dump some of those in there. That's gonna expand. Probably I'm gonna want more eventually, but for now that's what we're gonna work with. I'm not putting my other noodles back in there because we all saw what happened when I did that. Okay, so you're gonna let those boil. Once they get bubbly, you let them sit for like 12 minutes or so. And then, um, yeah, the pasta salad itself, like the dressing and everything is super simple, but this takes about 12 minutes if you haven't boiled pasta before. <laughs> All right, so these are pretty much done. As you can tell, they, yeah, very fall uh, vibes, but you know what? It is what it is. We're working with what we've got. So um, now that these are done cooking, we're going to strain them, chill them, and then once it's nice and cold, we will add the environment, um, the ingredients, not the environment. I mean, we're putting it into an environment that it needs to be in, which is cold, so, you know, whatever. Anyway, um... <laughs> Okay guys, so this next step is pretty simple. Um, you take the cold, this has been in the fridge for a few hours, um, the cold pasta, oh I should have put some olive oil in there for future reference, that's a good idea to make it stick a little bit less. And then some Italian dressing, this is zesty Italian, it's actually, I'm not a big fan of this dressing, but actually it's really good um, when it's not in salad. Put in a little bit of the Italian dressing and then... Hmm. Um, mixing that up. Where did my food And actually, a fun fact about this kind of pasta salad that, at least from my experience, is actually so much better um, the second day. If you're making it for like a barbecue or something, once all of this Rona stuff is done, and that's an option again. <laughs> Um, it's better to do it the night before because flavor-wise and stuff, it's just, it's much better, um, once it's been sitting for a day or so. It's kind of like soup, I don't know, um, at least in my experience, homemade soup is like so much better day two, so. So that's really, I mean, that's when it comes down to it, that's literally all you need for it. You can also add in pimentos or chickpeas. Um, imitation crab meat is actually also really good in here. Um, I don't have any of that, so I will not be adding that. If you have chickpeas, I could add and olives. So I'm gonna be adding some olives in here because I love olives. Okay, these are big boys <laughs> and probably don't need all of them because I don't have a whole lot of pasta. better in smaller pieces but because the pasta itself is so big I feel like that's actually not a bad thing um, and then yeah you can add in some protein if you want to as well I do have some um, what is that called Pan pancetta but I'm gonna be using that later this week stay tuned um, for <laughs> some um, uh, different pasta dish, a warm pasta dish. We're gonna make some pancetta um, spaghetti pasta. So anyway, so yeah, that's, I mean, really simple, really basic. You can add healthier stuff into it if you'd like. Um, I mean, black olives are pretty healthy. There's good fatty acids in there for whoever wants them and they're really good. So that's it. Um, so just wanted to show you guys not healthy <laughs> by any means but you eat it cold it's really good it's one of my favorite like barbecue dishes as well um can't go wrong with some pasta and some salad dressing am i right um pro tip it's also um, a bit of a workout to <laughs> combine whole olives and pasta on a plastic fork when you're at a barbecue so um yeah they don't tell you that in school kids, but it's a really important life lesson, so be prepared. And also, 
you know, you're burning calories as you're eating it. So that's just a win-win for everybody, I think. Thanks for coming to today's episode of Heather's Test Kitchen. I'm your host, Heather, and we will see you next time.